Throughout my 16 years of occasional indulgence, I have found that eating cake will always be bittersweet. When I was 10 years old, my friend's family and I went to Six Flags, and that same day, I got over my fear of roller coasters. I rewarded myself with a warm funnel cake for riding the second tallest roller coaster in the park. The tender treat sent me into a blithe calmness after the thrilling events of the long day. The warmth of the dough radiated through my cheeks, hugging away the coolness of the evening. The dust of powdered sugar was as white as my youthful thoughts, and the taste struck my tongue lovingly, like the everlasting rays of that past summer. As the night swam by, I sat with fading, reflective eyes, and I wondered if a day as perfect as that one would ever come again. Years later, I met with a friend of mine from middle school at the bakery to catch up, since I had been feeling nostalgic. The tiramisu we bought was disgusting. It was both dry and moist like old pavement after a rainy day. So we hopped up to a short rooftop and I grabbed the moist tiramisu and smashed it against the concrete of the roof. We both broke out into laughter and I motioned to the cake to show her what I had meant. My fingers trailed against the autumn brown cream, creating swirls and intricate designs. I began to pat the cake into a smooth mat against the surface. We're painting, I smiled at her. She giggled and grabbed a handful of cake. The dark cake gleamed in the sun with its moisture, forming dozens of shades of brown. We reminisced under the falling sun while finger painting and laughing, and an hour later a cutely complex turtle sat with us on the building. Against the white of the building it looked alive in its creation, and the three of us sat, relaxed in bitterness and sweetness, until the sky darkened and I still wondered if a day as perfect as that one would ever come again.